final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using Help Desk technology. Okay, there we go. Sorry about the audio hiccup. Welcome to my Let's Play of Wrecking Clank. Okay, <laughs> starting things up here after that audio hiccup. I'm just going to shut off help desk first and foremost because I'm pretty much going to be explaining everything from this point onward. Okay, so this is the first of the um, highly successful series. Uh, PlayStation 2 games, which was ported over to PlayStation 3, which is the version I'm playing on now. I am not about to play the reboot, because fuck that game, to be honest. Alright, so what, we're, what I'm basically doing here is that there's quite a few different actions that we can do here. And those are just with a rank by itself. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm going into the shack here, and I'm collecting bolts. Typically, these are one of two ways you can acquire these. Bolts are basically your currency, which you can use to buy various um, stuff, I'll say, down the line. And, um, plus, collecting quite a few of these are required for story progression as well, so you want to make sure you pick up as many as you can. There's quite a few in crates, you can pick them up from enemies. They're all over. And those enemies that were smacking around, get ready for this. Those are horny toads. Yeah, those enemies are horny toads. <laughs> I, I love the enemies in this game, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you right there. So, getting into these um, various actions, you can press X to jump. Press square to just use your wrench. You can jump and press X to do, let's say, a hyper strike. Which is slamming your um, hand wrench down. It's a bit stronger than what your typical standard strike is, so that's gonna go right there. There's also what's. I believe it's called a comet strike? I'll have a um, text player on screen if I'm wrong about that, if I got it backwards. But, quite a fairly versatility moveset. Okay, this crate right here. That's it. Well, it's clear container. This is nanotech. You have four units of health, which is not much, but at the same time, there is nothing that deals more than one unit of nanotech worth of damage, so it's, it's I'd say, a fair amount of health. Oof, um, each unit of nanotech will restore one well, unit of nanotech. That's pure and simple. So let's go ahead and collect these right here. I also 
Halo is more or less a PS2 game. This game looks pretty good, especially for its time. Okay, that right there is a plasma bot. Now we're like here. <clears throat> this is something that we can expect to see a, a few times out. See this horny toe trying to perch that plasma bot over there? Alright, enemies that, you know, just for lack of a term, they don't like each other. So they will go and have some. They'll basically fight each other, is more so what I'm trying to say. I use this opportunity to take out the plasma first and then take out the horny toad if you want to use your time with these guys. Or at least that one in particular. But plasma bots. Bots. Plasma bots really aren't. <laughs> Holy! Uh, I was not expecting that. A plasma bot going down to friendly fire. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But no, there are different enemies that will fight each other, and you are going to use that to your advantage where you can. I'm going to take out these plasma bots here real quick. These aren't really that difficult. As see, I got through this without a scratch. <laughs> then again, to someone who hasn't even played it, I, can, I guess I can see someone like having a rough time. Read. The um, blind playthrough in my other channel, Day Nine Lounge, which will be in the description. But let's investigate the crash site. Interesting. <laughs> You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drake, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you take your whiny, sniveling, snuff-nosed populations, form a line behind me and kiss my... We're still on? Turn it off, you idiot! Meet the villain, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> People on those planets are hoes. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Why did they bother celebrating that? Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, <coughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? 
My serial number is Z54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Clark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Clark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No. He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. <laughs> yeah, those small moments really do it for me, especially, um, Ratchet. Where did you get your pilot's license? I mean, try me straight into that wall right over there. I mean, come on. Ay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I know this has been a bit of a short episode, but I kind of want to end it on that note. So, next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we'll be exploring the, um, novels. I don't even know if I don't... No, I know I'm not pronouncing it right. See you guys then.